she's a junior at Cumberland International Early College High School on the campus of Fayetteville State University. Good morning. Good morning. If I might ask you first, where is home? Uh, being a military child, I don't really have a sense of home. People ask me where I'm from. I just say I'm a military child. So home pretty much is just where the family is at the time. Tell me a little bit about your parents. Are they active duty now? What is their situation? No, my parents are retired. They retired uh, about four or five years ago. And both of them were in the military? They were both. Did you have an opportunity to travel very much? I did. I've lived tons of places around the United States, and I've been out of the country twice. What was the best and the worst part of moving? The best part of moving was probably the traveling. It was interesting to say, you know, I've got to live here and here. The worst part, uh, <laughs> it was funny, the worst part was actually the moving as well. Just It's hard uh, uprooting your life every year or so. Let's talk about deployments. Has your family had to deal with deployments? Yes, um, my mother was deployed. And at the time, it was just me. My dad uh, was living off somewhere by himself, so I had to stay with my grandmother. And when it happened, I didn't know when she was coming back. I didn't get to speak to her a lot. So it was a very difficult time, especially to pretty much handle by myself because I didn't have the closest relationship with my grandmother and then I had to move where she lived so I was by myself, new people and it was very difficult because I missed her very much. And how long was she deployed? Um, I think it was about a little over a year. I mean a little over half a year she was deployed. And when she when she returned, was that when everything went totally back to normal again? I was extremely happy when she came back. Uh, yeah, pretty much. We I moved back where where we actually lived, and I started to go to my to uh, my other school again. What have been the hardest parts for you in being a military dependent? Um, the hardest parts was uh, uh, going new places. Uh, uh, being a new student at schools, uh, that was probably the most difficult because it was harder as I got older because I became more of a shy person, so it was hard to just get out there and make new friends and meet new people like every time. Are there programs that you have found that are in place that the schools have had that have helped with that transitioning process? Did you find those beneficial? Um, there's, I don't remember any specific programs, just like I just had to do it. I just had to be willing to go out there or be by myself. Now, after retirement, what is it like? How is life different now? How are your How are you emotionally feeling different? Um, it's different because uh, uh, home life is a lot happier. Um, I've developed better relationships with my parents because they're home more, so I get to see them more often. And uh, as far as personally, um, I'm better. You know, being going through that, having to, you know, uproot your life and change and go to new schools, meet new people, has taught me that, you know, that's just something you have to do, something you have to get out there and put yourself on the line and risk it. Do you think that some of these experiences have better prepared you to deal with some of the things that you might be facing in your adult life? Absolutely, because um, shyness was one of my biggest issues. And that was just something I had to work through to get over so that I could, you know, make make friends at the new schools and get into different stuff at my schools. Chanel, what has been the very best part about being a part of the military family? The very best part is um, going overseas. I really liked uh, uh, experiencing, like, different cultures and stuff because before I came to Fayetteville, I lived in Korea, so that was really interesting. Do you, now that your parents have retired from the military, do you still consider yourself military dependent? I do. Um, like, I do mostly because I've been through it, so I know what it's like to be a military child. Yeah. When you, in this military community, see someone that is going through a transition or a place that you found difficult, as you were going through it in the past, do you find that you have more empathy, that you reach out to some of those? I do. I can understand. So I try my best to at least be someone uh, 
they can talk to to be there for them because I know what it's like to be a new student or to be the new one at the school and have to experience everything for yourself and have to experience it alone. And because deployment time was a difficult time with students or family members being of students being deployed now, some of your friends, does that help you in relating to them and, and helping them through it? It does. Uh, um, there's not much you can tell a person because they're going to worry and they're going to be afraid for their parent, but at least you could tell them that uh, it's, uh, it's okay. It's okay to have those worries, I mean, and it's okay to be worried for them, but just don't make it the only thing that you focus on in your life and just to stay hopeful for them and to be there for them. Thank you.